When I was loaded onto the back of the Chinook helicopter, I had no signs of life. I had no pulse. I was classed as dead. My name's Mark Wormrod. I'm a former Royal Marines Commando. And on Christmas Eve 2007, I was injured serving out in Afghanistan. And as a result, became the UK's first triple amputee from the conflict. We had just been given a brief and around about half past 10 in the morning, we all got ready to leave on what we thought was gonna be just another normal, routine, low-level foot patrol. About six hours into the patrol, my section were tasked with giving cover to another group of guys that we left with earlier in the day. As the men in my section all started taking fire positions, I slowly started walking over towards a position that I selected for myself. And as I got there, and went to get down on my stomach. That was the moment that I knelt on and detonated an improvised explosive device. So when I was loaded onto the back of the Chinook helicopter, I was classed as dead. They could not get fluids into me because all my veins had collapsed due to the massive blood loss. And when a oxygen mask was put on my face, it should have steamed up to show signs that I was breathing, but it didn't. So the medics, put me in a corner and they got to work on one of the other guys that was injured who had shrapnel wounds to his back. Fortunately for me, when one of the medics walked past me to get some equipment to go and work on the other guy, he said that he saw my eyes start to flutter, which meant that my heart was still beating. And so he alerted some of the other medics and they came over and they got to work on me. Now once they stabilized me, they flew me back to a place called Camp Bastion where the surgeons who were on duty that day did an assessment of the damage to my three limbs and they decided that the only way they were going to be able to save my life was if they amputated both my legs above the knee and my right arm above the elbow. The 9th of June 2009 is the day that I left my wheelchair behind me forever. And although I class that as my Independence Day, every day is still like rehab. And I couldn't have done half of the things that I have, and I couldn't have achieved half of the things that I have, had it not been for the support of numerous military charities. So if you want to support veterans, please play the Veterans Lottery.